<laughs> hey people, it's Broken Puppet and this is how to draw a near traditional slash new school rose. Enjoy. This one I'm gonna teach you how to draw today. I'm gonna teach you how to draw this because I literally just drew this one up and the whole thing just told me the end you know recording failed. So yeah, we're gonna do this one again. This bloody rose. Start with keep yourself circle. And you can tell it's a bit more sort of like neo-traditional, kind of new schoolish. You know, so it's a bit more detailed than your basic old school. So you get yourself like a nice oval, kind of eggy shape. I'm gonna cut in some lines. I'm gonna cut a line here, cut a line there. Line there, just come off it. Just kind of breaking the like lines into two, like come off a little bit and then break it. And then again, a straight one. So just like line, straight, straight line, straight line, line, break. And that sort of builds like a rough kind of circle. And what we're going to do is going to bring in little refined detail, so we're going to bring in this line here, this line here, and what we're going to do is going to create a curve here, come into this line just there, same on this side, curve here, curve this one up, just like curve there, same concept, curve that one back, it's similar in concept to old school, it's just more detailed and just got more to it. Like this one's going to curve back. I'm going to bounce this. Curve a little bit there. And that's going to come down with that one. So I'm going to curve up. Curve back in. And this one's going to kind of sort of spiral and form this circle. So I'm going to have this curve up here. This one's going to curve quite a lot. So I slowly want to start making this bit curve to make the centre. edgy bits. I'm just going to curve this top. So I fill in that kind of egg shape just a little bit lower, just there. And I'm going to make it wrap around. So I'm going to bring a curve here and then this line's going to curve into this curve. So you see you make a wrap around. And then from there I'm going to curve another line in. Curve them around. And a couple little curves in the inside. Just above this I'm going to do a loop. So I'm going to curve up, dip in a little bit Create a curve up and down again. Seven left side, just curve, dip, start curve again. Now I'm going to do is start building up the outside shapes. So I'm going to want one to come across, say like here. So I'm going to have a line cutting across, building a rough curve. I'll turn this into detail afterwards. I'm just blocking in the rough shapes. And now, because it's sort of you know a bit more sort of neo-traditional kind of new schoolish, I want it to each each petal to be kind of different. So I'm going to create some curves, and each each line is going to be like a different kind of curve. So I'm going to curve here, curve out, curve back around, curve in. So this is a bit more dynamic than the average kind of petals. This one's going to curve out, curve into a point. S bend out a little bit to about there. Curve in. Curve out. Curve out. So you can see each one's roughly about sort of four sides. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that's going to give it some sort of correlation between it. One in there. One here, you can see just behind this one. In the background, I'm going to have some leaves. So bring in these big oval shapes with a line in the middle. I want one so they can here, all the empty spaces. So here, here, maybe a little bit here. And then you've got the stem coming down. I've got the stem coming this way. So it's going to bring a curved line come from the centre, one line next to it, and then I'll detail that afterwards. So Oval shape, line through the centre. 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 
And now I'm going to do, I'm going to hit with a marker. This is just a sharpie, uh, sharpie pen. Now to make it sort of near traditional, like a new score, I'm going to give it different line weights. By that I mean different line thickness. So I'm going to do this line here, say a thick. And then each one of these overtones here, I'm going to do the thinner liner. And you'll see it give it a really cool effect. Such a simple thing, but it makes a world of difference. It's the key thing that really defines between like old school, new school, near traditional. Old school is usually always the same line weight. It's very rare you switch up. Everything's done with the same line thickness. So I'm just putting in all the lines I want thick. And these ones are literally mainly like the outside lines. They're the ones that build up the shape. Anything I can kind of consider like detail, I'm going to refine with thinner lines. Now be very careful not to overlap your areas. Like you see here, got there. I'm, not, I'm stopping there because this is where that line is going to connect. Getting just there. Now I'll grab my fine liner. Which I'm going to use my uni pin if I can find it. Try to be a bit more organised than me. I literally just. I have all my pens out in front of me, so everything's easy to get to. I think so. It's such a simple thing, but it just makes a world of difference. Just having two different line thicknesses. So, yeah, so that's it for those ones. Now remember so I was going to make this more detailed, so what I'm going to do here, this one I'm going to bump. So I'm going to come to a point, curve here, I'm going to have this curve up a touch, to a point, and curve out. So see I'm sticking to the same shape, I'm just changing up, I'm bouncing bits in, curving, making different edges. Okay, I'm going to cut this up, cut this in, make a little loop, cut it there. Don't always have to, like this one, I'm going to keep fairly simple because it's quite unique in its shape as it is. You know, there is such a thing as overdoing it. Like so, that's what it leaves. Now we'll do some little detail bits in there as well. But for now, it's going to bring in that line down the center of each one of these leaves. I'm going to bring a curve back like this, curve off of that. Then this side, I'm going to start a curve a little bit lower and simply just curving around. Down this side. Just always do this curve on the lower side. Now, so this one always sits on top, otherwise it just look a bit weird, it just wasn't make, won't make sense. <laughs> it's going to add a few little line bits, but I do that I think with my fine liner. Lastly, it's going to do the stem, 
Let me bring this down. Create a little pelvic coming off of that. Just same on this side, I think. And then what I'm going to do here is going to bring in line detail. So I'm going to bring in some lines coming back, just telling the shape of each petal. So the petal kind of curves this way, so I'm having that curve go that way. Up here it curves this way, so I'm going to curve the line that way. Same there. I don't want too much of this, just enough just to give the hint of the shapes. It's very easy to overdo. We've got these little bumps. It's going to do one there. One there, so one there, and one there. And that's going to do some little circles, just here and there. A couple of big ones, small ones next to them, some, some separate, just like so. Then each petal, or each uh, leaf rifle, I'm going to curve outwards, and then inwards. Making random lines, random distance apart. Until I get to like the bottom of it, I'm not making them parallel either. So different patterns on each side, just always that same curve low. Putting this all the way through. And just off there some, some large V shapes, just them in some little vines just off the side. Just like so. Get your rub up, rub up all that pencil work. Just your basic putty rub up. Add a few little thorns just coming off of this. Just to hear it out now. Just gonna get my marker. Blender, grey, 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 grey. Grey. Gonna put in some shadows and now you've got to use your imagination a bit here because you know the shadow isn't going to be the exact same shape like here you see where this kind of leaf bends kind of kind of curve here which isn't the same as the shape on top you know it takes a bit of practice this just keep doing it and just keep imagine how it sort of goes like, imagine the curve and how the shadow would drop around the curve you know if you had like a shadow falling onto say a um a circle shape you know, like a ball, you know, it wouldn't just copy the same shape, it would bend because the ball bends. It's okay, I'm gonna have this one going out. 
And I'm just blocking in the shadows first and then I'll come in and shade them out. But for this style I want a nice good section of the black. Look at here just on these bits to cap in. Should do it. It's gonna get me grays now and just blend these out. So I'm just gonna run through the side motion like I normally do. Just coming through the edge of shadows. Just to soften up that edge. And then we start building up the shadows for the shape. Of each petal. You, know, you can have it just like blend out like you know, the colours are solid if you want. But the way I'm gonna do it and what I'm gonna show you is to teach you the shape. So you see like here, this tip of this petal here I want to bend. So I'm gonna put a bit of shadow at the bottom. And the lighter grey. I'm gonna blend this out, curving with this top shape. Doing this I get this nice highlight come through here and it looks like this petal bends. That's what I want. Similarly here I want this to kind of curve here. So it's gonna have a nice little bend there and then this shapes here are gonna bend. You know if you struggle for working it out just go corner to corner have the bends kind of curve from the corners. See like here, this one to this one, it goes here, down into that, there, down into that. Do it enough times till it feels right. Do that there. Turn that out. So you're going to get a highlight come through this centre. On this bit, I want this bit to curve, and I want this to kind of blend up from there. Touch from this corner, just a hint from this corner, not too much. Look up some inside these curves, you know, it's like circle big base. Leave a little highlight and then just blend out of that. Something on the bottom of this one, I want a little shadow just there. One colour I'm going to use my markers, going to use a blender trick. I'll do this and I'll fast forward to sort of show you. You know, I'm going to use the same technique for all of it. So get your blender, hold the tip of the blender to the marker, it's a pro marker. Count down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sometimes you need five, you just tell until the tip goes white. And just run it across side to side. Until you start to see a hint of colour. Second you see the colour, start working its way down. See, and you get the colour fade out. Do this a couple of times, so I'll show you guys. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Generally the longer the area, like here, the longer you want to hold the tip to the pen. So you see now where you get the shine coming through the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to do that for all the leaf bits. You know, I'm in the petals. That's how we're going to do the petals. And then if I grab me lid. For each of these overtime bits we've done, I'm going to blend orange. Into yellow. Into blue. Now, it should just be different. You can colour many colours you want. You can then just like basic colours. Just showing you, you can do these and look really cool. You don't always have to just be the basic colours. And do that for every single one of them. The leaves. Oops. Go back. And run this up the side. Like so. The two sides are still on the inside bit and the outside bit just there. And you grow across. In light grey. And then go over that with green. And you can use any kind of green you want. This one's just like a basic kind of grassy green. You can go stronger green if you want, where it's a bit more traditional. And that's the same thing you want to apply to all of them going around the stem the shadow from the top green off for that like so apply that to everything the exact same techniques, the exact same we done that, uh, exact same we done uh, that, and that. So every single one of them. And then that's what you get afterwards. So you see. So we just blend it out. See, then the same technique, just go and blend into the red strung there. Now from the sides, around the edge. The green's done the same. The yeah, only thing we've done here is we added some highlights. So a little flicks, a little white just here on the side of the uh, leaves. A little bit just here, just underneath the pencil, you know, the uh, petal, just to break up the black from the red. You know, sometimes if it's dark on dark, it gets a bit lost. A little white highlight. I just done this with a Prisma pencil, just there, a little bit on the inside, around there. And here I just done a little bit, so it looks like sort of going into the sort of skin thing. So it looks just a curve, curve around inside colour red. You know, it's just. Real simple that technique, but that's how it comes out once you've done it all. So yeah, from line work and basic bits to fully colouring in, just using all the same techniques we've done on this. Same way we've done that. Same way we've done that. Same way we've done that. Boom. Hope that helps. Hope you like it. Check out my video. Subscribe. Yada yada yada. I'm the broken puppet, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.